In this lesson we're going to again look at adding integers together, but uh, like I said in the last video, I'm going to show um, a different method for um, adding integers. So, so method two goes like this. We're going to think of positive numbers as arrows that point to the right and negative numbers as arrows that point to the left, and we're going to look at these in the context of a number line. So, when I look at negative 7 plus 15, I'm going to make myself just a small number line here, and I'm going to start with negative 7. Okay, so if here's 0, I could think of negative 7 like this left pointing arrow right here. Now step two says that adding two numbers means we are going to attach the beginning of one arrow to the end of another. So what I want to do is attach the beginning of 15's arrow to the end of negative 7's arrow. And so that kind of looks like this. Here's 15, and since 15 is positive, it goes to the right. Now the thing about 15 is because um, 15 is a greater distance than 7 is, I know that 15 takes me not only back to 0, but into positive territory. So just from this picture, we already know that the answer is going to be positive. So that's nice, we have that out of the way. And the other thing we can see from the picture is that since I backtracked along my distance of negative seven, or this, this arrow of negative seven, since I backtracked along it, the appropriate thing to do is to subtract, not to add. And so we're going to take 15 minus seven and see what the difference is between these two uh, arrow lengths. And the difference in arrow lengths is eight, and because I can see I ended up in positive territory, it's clear that my answer is 8. Let's try this with uh, this next example here. We've got negative 9 plus negative 4. Make another small number line. I'm going to put a 0 in here. So I'm starting with negative 9. So again, I'm going to think of that as an arrow that points to the left and goes 9 units. Now, negative 4 is also a left-pointing arrow. And so I'm going to attach the beginning of negative 4 to the end of negative 9, and it points left. And so what we can see here is that I'm going to end up in negative territory. So there's no question that in my answer, my answer has to be negative. And the other thing that I can see is that I'm taking my the, the length of this arrow of negative 9 and I'm adding on more to it. So that should indicate to me that I want to add those two lengths. So they add together to make a total length of 13, but since I'm in negative territory, I know that that answer needs to be negative 13. Let's try this again with negative 18 and with 5. So make a, another number line here. So here we're starting off with negative 18, so that is a left pointing arrow that goes off in this direction. We'll attach the beginning of 5 to the end of negative 18, but we know that 5 is a right pointing arrow. But it's a right pointing arrow that doesn't make it back too far, right? Because the length of negative 18 is going to be a lot bigger than the length of 5. So what I can see here is I'm backtracking along negative 18, so I want to find the difference of these two distances. So I will be taking 18 minus 5 is 13. But what's also very clear is that I'm still in negative territory. So my answer here is negative 13, just like the last example, but just purely by coincidence. All right, finally, we can do this even when the numbers are big. Right? 
right? Because we're not being really, really accurate with our uh, number lines here. We're just kind of uh, putting the numbers wherever we feel like. And so uh, we can have really, really large absolute values involved. So if I put zero here, here's 503. We'll say 503 is about right there. And then I'm adding negative 1,034. Well, the beginning of negative 1,034 starts here, but it is a left pointing arrow. So it's going back, and it's definitely going to make it across zero. Right? It's definitely going to make it across zero because its length is going to be greater than 500 threes. So again, I'm backtracking along uh, my 500 three, so I know I need to find the difference of the two numbers. And when I do, I get 531. But it's very clear that the answer should be negative because I end up in negative territory.